I get the feeling that I'm not communicating real effectively with people online. Uh, I just, the terminology, I'm not fluent enough in it to figure, you know, to, to either understand what people are telling me or even to explain what I'm doing properly in the veil. So I figured a demonstration might be appropriate. That's what we're going to do here. So currently I have it set up with the pulse pin being written high, which means that the NPN is being written high, the MOSFET, the MOSFET is being written low. So those are the test conditions for this one. Now these two meters are hooked up as follows. So the, uh, the black meter is uh, monitoring the gate voltage and that's being measured between um, V positive and the, I'm sorry, not, that's not E. That should be, the drain, right? Whatever, it's the voltage from there to there. Um, and then the yellow multimeter over here is measuring this bridge which is the low bridge, the one that changes. Um, and we'll show you exactly what happens here. So right now I've got the, the electrode is sitting above the water at the moment. So I'm going to reset the system and it's going to run an advancing program. And, okay. Okay, up right, if you look right here, you can see it moving, so you'll know that. Still above the water. The values coming in are 590. Oh, I'm sorry. They're zero. The established high threshold was 590. The difference is 590 right now. Which, is, which corresponds to... It's a little bit low, but... Maybe that is a problem, I don't know. Um, okay, so it's touched the water now, you can see, and now you start to see the voltage dropping down. This is exactly what I would expect to see. Wait. sure if I've got it set up differently this time. Okay, now, what I've been doing just to verify that I actually have current or not current is trying to spark it. And see, this will not spark. It will create a, an effect on there, but it won't actually physically spark. Now, my readings are coming down. I've moved the electrodes, so they're going to change a bunch, but... Um, generally they were increasing well the gap was closing it was it was showing the, the the readings on the computer are consistent with what this was showing just now All right, I'm gonna set up for the next test okay, I've reset the test now the uh, the NPN is being written low in order to write the MOSFET high And I've raised the stepper above above the water level here. So it's advancing, still above the water. We'll note the full voltage um, across the gap, I guess is what that's really what that measurement is, is, is the across the gap measurement. Now We'll just let it go here for a moment. A little bit difficult to tell sometimes where this is in reference to the water level. This little feeler gauge kind of helps with that. Okay, we are just... It's real interesting what it does when it first pierces the surface tension. You can, you can see it, you know, push it 
a concavity down and then it breaks. Okay, so we're in the water now. And you can see there is no drop in, uh, in the voltage there and no rise on the voltage there, which is what I, you know, would like to see. Now, just to prove that I haven't done something stupid in software and that it's not really just off right now, I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not, but you have to take my word for it, it is sparking when I touch it to it like that. And actually, you can even see that in the meters. So I'm not real clear on what all that means. I'm hoping somebody much smarter than me can, uh, can give me some guidance on this. Over and out.